Nothing like having fresh lettuce from your system. Had some of this for supper for the last two evenings. Really haven't even put a dent in it. Peaches are doing okay. Well, hello Emma. Can I show people this? Thank you. Um, this is my uh, goldfish and I've got a algae eater in it. Everything seems to be going real well with the system. Getting lots of lettuce out of it. My peppermint and my spearmint are doing real well. And I've got guppies in this system. I've harvested all my tomatoes. I need to do something with this tomato plant. It's getting way too tall. It's flowering again, but uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got some more onions planted over here. And uh, I've planted uh, the end of the celery plant, and it's starting to grow right there. And my, my guppies are doing okay. Hello, Mr. Toby. Um, harvested some of my basil and some of my oregano the other day. Run it through the dehydrator. Got uh, two ounces of uh, dehydrated uh, basil and uh, about an ounce of uh, dehydrated uh, oregano. This system's still doing real well. Oh, uh, yeah. Peter's doing wonderful. And I don't know if you can see my fish there, but they're getting pretty big. I don't know, they're all hiding over there in the corner. Let's see if I can get a little light on this. See if that helps any. Yeah, there's one. There's some more. They're all doing real well. My uh, Swiss chard has been coming back. I've been eating on that. Got onions over there. Got some purple basil. And uh, my pepper plant seems to be doing okay. It's really time to get after this uh, parsley here. I need to harvest it again. And uh, my spinach over here. I've got to find a kind of spinach that doesn't, doesn't bolt and go straight to seed on me. Look at that. But uh, this has been pretty good. I don't know, I haven't even looked at my pepper plant here to see if I have any peppers, but I've got, got flowers. But uh, I haven't seen any peppers yet. Look at that. Year and a half old almost. Getting pretty close to a two-year-old plant there. Still putting out leaves. Look how thick that base is getting. And uh, I cannot believe how fast these guys have grown. Um, I ought to put a, something up there so you can actually judge to see how big these fish are. Yeah, let's see. I'll give you a little scale there. That one's about an inch and a half. I've got one that's about two inches. Most of them are between an inch, inch and a half, and I've got one or two that are big boys. And then I've got one or two that are real little. 
like this guy over here. I don't know what's happened to him. But uh everything seems to be working well. Um I stuck a little sponge filter on the top of the intake here to kind of cut down on the amount of waste going into the tank. It's helped quite a bit. But uh you can see I get to clean this every day. See the water's water's getting a little high over here. If I move this filter a little bit it starts draining back down. But uh I have got all kinds of fish waste in there, and I've been putting that in my compost heap and on my raised bed garden outside. And uh, so I'm getting some good fertilizer out of this system too. Um, but like I said, everything seems to be doing real well. Real. Uh, happy with uh, the tank heater, been keeping the temperature real solid. Um, I've got it set at 82 and most of the time it's at 82. It uh, kicks back on at 80 so it'll heat it up to 82 and then two, three, four hours later it'll come back on again and heat it back up to 82 so pH is holding steady, ammonia is Right where it's supposed to be, nitrites, nitrates, everything just coming right along. Really happy with the way this system's performing. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And uh, if you've got a large system and you need a, a tank heater, I really recommend building yourself one of these. Beats the heck out of uh, trying to use aquarium heaters and something this big. Anyhow, remember people, life is good. Be safe.